What's up guys, Takedown here with a gaming related video. As you can see by the title, we are going to be talking about the future of EB Games or GameStop if you live in the States. I believe EB Games owns GameStop now. I think they bought them out a few years ago. But the reason I thought of this video is I used to always buy the hard copy games. I'd wait till about Black Friday whenever they had really good sales. I'd go to EB Games or Walmart, whichever was cheaper, and I'd buy the hard copy. I never really liked the idea of buying them on my PS4 or my PS3 and just downloading them. I always liked to have the physical copy. But now that I'm in 2018, I do feel and I do see myself buying a lot more games online. I recently bought UFC 3, which is something I would have rather to hard copy, but they had a really great sale on the PS Plus. And I recently bought two more games. One was from my childhood and the other one was Little Nightmares. So Little Nightmares will probably make it a series for the channel. But uh, whenever I purchased them, I thought PlayStation has been having some really great sales. They used to only sell the games, or at least from my memory, um, they used to only sell the games full price. Other than Black Friday and I think Christmas, I think those are the only two times of the year you could get games on sale, or at least that's what I've seen. Recently, uh, over the past few years, they used to put new games on sale around Christmas and Black Friday, but I'd still go and get the hard copy because I always felt better getting the hard copy. Um, now that it's 2018, since the new year, I've been seeing a lot more sales, and sales for good games. I'm talking Battlefield, I'm talking Call of Duty sales for the new Call of Duty whole bunch of games, Need for Speed, everything that's new and recently came out, they're putting more and more sales on. There's weekly sales every couple weeks, every month there's new sales. It's crazy. And all of a sudden I thought of the competition it's going to have for EB Games of a lot more people. It's easier to buy it on the PS4 than it is to run to a store, especially if you're like me and the store is about 30 to 40 minutes away. And you, if you have to go there, it better be worth it, and going just for one game, it's not worth it for me. So it's way easier getting it on the PS4, and I believe a lot of people are buying it on the PS4, and that's why they're making more and more sales. It's probably it's likely the same on Xbox. They likely have a lot more sales on the Xbox now than they used to. But I just thought of the effect it's having on EB Games. Of course, EB Games for years has been always trying new strategies to get more people to buy their... Uh, come to the store and buy the games and upsell them. And I used to hate that. And I never went, I never bought a new game uh, at a used, a used copy of a new game. I never felt right doing that. I know some people that do that personally. And to me, if you're going to buy a new game, buy a new copy of the new game. But honestly, I think within the next five years, we're going to see some big changes. Now, does that mean that EB Games or GameStop is going to close? I don't think so. I don't think it's going to be like uh, Blockbuster or, you know, movie rental places. I don't think it's going to be like that in the future. But you can probably already see the transition. They used to be strictly games. Games and DLC, that type of thing. For the last few years, they are more and more evolving into gaming collecting. Or gaming and collectibles. And, like for me, I love collectibles, but I'm not going to really get them from EB Games. Unless they're on sale, like Funko, they have they've almost everything. They have special exclusives. They have a whole bunch of different collectibles that they sell in their stores now. So I see they're not going to get out of gaming, in my opinion. But I think they're going to get more into collectibles, gaming collectibles, and a whole bunch of stuff like that. Because a lot of people are interested in that now. And I think there's a huge market for it, so why not push that? Especially since they probably feel the effect of games, but... I don't know what it was the other day, but I just thought, out of nowhere, I was like, I'm buying games through my PS4, which is something I never did before, I never liked the idea of it, but because there's so many great sales of good games on my PS4 now, I'm tending to buy more, and also PS Plus, since you get monthly free games, that's another thing uh, that's interesting, and you can even get PlayStation Now, which is, um, you pay a monthly subscription, you get like 600 games at your access at any time. It's ridiculous. But I don't know. I think within the next five years, we're going to see big changes from EB Games and game places. So it's going to be interesting to see. 
I will leave this video here. I just wanted to explain that because out of nowhere I just thought of this and I wanted to share it with you guys. Let me know your comments down below of where you think EB Games and a whole bunch of uh, gaming places are going to be in the next few years. Are they going to close their doors? Are they going to get more into collectibles, which is the path I think they will go because they've already started. But let me know down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.